Sefer, Laket Rishimot, <coughs> he brings down over here regarding in Yanim of Shavuot. Just want to try to make this comment on Shavuot. A lot of us, Baruch Hashem, come half an hour, an hour before Chatot, before midnight. If Chatot is 12.57, people start coming at 12 o'clock. And then at 2 o'clock, they have plof or cake or shish kebab. Or some like to go do olo bolo with cigarettes outside. Rabotai, if you're going to kill the night away, sleep and stay home. You don't have to come to shul. There's no point of coming to shul on Shavuot and eating and drinking just to keep us stay awake. The purpose of Shavuot, I'm going to read for you over here, is to be able to use every single second to learn Torah. I know, that, I know how it works. Guys, this one comes, one story, 45 minutes, another rabbi. You kill another 30 minutes until this one sits down. Somebody told me, but the rabbi doesn't come till 12 o'clock. What does the rabbi have to do with you? You finish your suit, start doing the Tikkun Lo Shavuot, start learning Torah. What does one thing have to do with another? You don't ask the rabbi when you have to go to work, right? You go and you work. Same thing over here. I want to just read to you what he says over here. Guys, I want you people, to, I want people to understand. I am not chas shalom picking on people to show you what they're doing wrong. But I am rabotai showing people what has to be done right. Because we think it's okay. And it becomes a minhag. You know what I mean? Minhag. It becomes ikar. People come and they eat and they talk and they smoke. And somehow today you have Baruch Hashem women also coming. And they're listening in the back while their husband's at home watching the kids. You have to have your priorities straight. Everything has to be the way the Torah wants. Not the way we want. <clears throat> he says it like this. Every single year on the night of Shavuot, a few minutes before Aravit, which is Rabbi Vachtifagal, she would stand by the Arun Kodesh. We would all stand in front of him to hear his words. She would mention the words of the Shlach HaKadosh. She shivod u yom adin is judgment day, Rabotai, judgment day. Ha'adam ala Torah. Hashem judges a person on the Torah that he's going to be able to learn throughout the year. That's a shivod is not a time to play games. Shivod is the time to accumulate as much as you can. Torah. Ubo danim gam ken kam chidushay Torah yizke adam b'chot shana. On that day you judge how much marriage you're going to have to be able to write Chidushim. Vayam meorer tatzibur litchazek tuva be'esek atorah kedusha. The mashgiach he would awaken everybody. They have to strengthen themselves in learning Torah with a lot of strength, not to take the light, night very lightly. Befrat be'emim elu. Ashe ein ra'at rabotai specifically in these days. It's not because he's going to bring down the not only shivuot, also shaloshet imagbala, also the three days before shivuot, which is very critical. So he says over here, Pam is being explained one time, Ha'inil shel ribui batora. The matter how a person needs to increase in learning Torah, in which days, Beshaloshet Yimei Akbala V'Shivot. On the three days before Shivot, which is Yimei Akbala literally means the days of boundaries, when technically a person should stay away from his wife. Before he, the right, before we receive the Torah, he wants to not have refrain from relations, to purify himself, to be able to accept Torah. And those three days and Shavuot itself, it's not only Sugula that you come and you say Tikkun Lel Shavuot and you're good. No. The whole reason is Rabotai, since you're being judged on the Torah, because like the our rabbis tell us, we only judge a person according to his actions at that moment. We say this on Rosh Hashanah, Ba'asher Husham. That's what we're being warned, Rabotai. On these days, a person has to attach himself to Torah. In order to be at that moment that he should be Bashar Husham to the Torah, Rabotai, if you have the Zuchut on that day, because remember, it's going to come out this year, Saturday night, Sunday, and Monday. You have no excuse, Rabotai. Friday, Saturday, Shabbat, Saturday night. You could rest on Shabbat, Bezrat Hashem, Bolinader, just like you want to get Tanuk Shabbat, prepare yourself for Saturday night. I mean, not from preparing from Shabbat to Yom Tov, but as if you, you want, like regularly you do. 
But Rabotai, a person has to take these days very serious. You have clearly Friday, Saturday, easy. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, easy to be able to take them into consideration and learn Torah a lot. The Mashgich mentioned many times what's written in the books. If a person learns properly Torah in the three days of Agbala, you're going to have the merit to be able to learn Torah throughout the whole year. Upam Amar, and one time he said, Shim Adam Hayalom met Bliripion. And this is what I want to show you. If a person would have learned Torah without loosening his hand, without taking breaks in between his learning, Bemeshach Gimel Yimak Baladung the three days before Shavuot, Hayan Nitzam Mikom Mine Bitul Torah Kolashan Kula. Hashem would save you from all the Bitul Torah that could happen to you throughout the whole year. He won't allow Bitul Torah to happen, meaning you won't have this problem. You won't have this problem. Hashem will allow you to continue learning Torah. Rabotai, because we all know that Talmud Torah cannot get Kulam. When you learn Torah, it's against, against all the mitzvot. But at the same time, we just don't understand what means Bittu Torah. When a person does not learn Torah, it's connected to Kulam against all the Averot. And this we do not see, Rabotai. This we think, when we don't learn Torah, it's okay. No, no, Rabotai, it is not okay. It's called Mamish Bittu Torah. And I'll put it to you like this. Somebody once asked me, how do you explain it, Rabbi? How do you explain the case? If you have a guy, I'm not telling you it's mutar. I'm not telling you it's mutar, chas shalom. I'm going to give you the severity of the punishment. If you had a guy who slept, who murdered, and who did a vodozara, this guy, or three guys, and you had a person who was wasting from learning Torah, Hashem says, them I could overlook. They do, I could over, you who does bit of Torah, I could never overlook that botai. This guy who's not learning Torah is much more worse than all these three. Not to chas shalom say you're allowed to do all these three. Chas shalom. I'm just telling you the severity, that's what it means. Talmud Torah kin eged kulam. When you learn Torah, you get 613 mitzvot. For every word that you say when you learn Torah, Talmud Torah, uh, Bittu Torah kin eged kulam. Same thing when you don't learn Torah, take all the words that you have, put it on your shoulder. It's as if you did it, Rabotai. That's why a person needs to be very careful. And let me just come, come Rabotai, and I want to tell you here, a lot of times, unfortunately, you know, one time somebody told me, I told him, come learn Torah, come learn Torah. No, Rabbi, I can't. Okay, whatever. You know, every day the same story, Rabbi. You have to remember one rule. If you don't make time to learn Torah, Hashem will give you problems in order for you not to be able to learn Torah. What do I mean? Let me read it for you over here. He says it like this. Mash Amru Chazal, I make a love all Torah. When Chazal say anybody who accepts upon himself all Torah, when Shavuot is coming up, or anytime when he learns, Me'avarim Emen Omachut. Right? They're going to remove from him the yoke of the government. Right, he doesn't have to worry about nothing, right? Anashim Shuvrim Shizet Sigula. People think it's a Sigula. Ani San John, if I learn that Torah, I don't have to worry about nothing. They think it's a good, uh, lucky charm, lucky charm. Amara Majgi is a lot Sigula. It's not a Sigula. It's what you have to do, Rabota. It's not a Sigula. It's an obligation. Ela all Torah Zemitziut. When a person accepts upon himself the yoke of Torah, this is the reality, Rabota. Meaning, Sheto Sevet Ed Kol Ed it commits your toshal adam. Rabotai takes a person's whole being when he learns Torah. Kol masav, all his actions are in the Torah. Pulatav, everything that he does, dibro, the way he speaks. Umach shavato, the way he thinks. Hakol, hakol, tachada ola Torah. Everything's under the yoke of Torah. He's literally under the leadership of Hashem. Umemela rabotai, and therefore, if a person is always busy trying to do for Hashem, learn the Torah, mach. Thinking, speaking, doing every time. What happens? You can't do anything else. If all you're doing is serving Hashem, Hashem cannot give you anything else. Therefore, that's what they remove from you everything else. They remove from you all the other burdens. But a person who says, I don't want to learn Torah, Rabbi, I have to work. Good, continue working. I'm not saying to continue working. You have no time. No, you don't have no time. Look at your screen time one day. In a week, maybe you're 30 hours in. 30, 40 hours in Rabotai. In a month, maybe 200 hours in. We have no time. We have a lot of time, especially in the bathroom. When people sit there hours upon hours and they watch it. Come out! It's very time to go to sleep. 3 o'clock in the morning. People should come out, son. Rabotai, it's not Chasu Shalom. It's what people tell me. What do you think? Chasu Shalom. Mr. Azzi, I want to tell you something. I, I want to tell you, there's a few guys that are sitting over here today. Not only two or three, Rabotai. I want to tell you today. People that tell me today they cannot learn Torah, it's, it's baloney. I'll tell you why. 
If you wake up 4.30, right? Nets is early. 6 o'clock, 6.05, we finish. We have guys over here that finish 6 o'clock davening, 6.05. They learn Mishrayot. After that at 7 o'clock, they learn Masechet Shabbat. From 7 to 8, they learn Masechet Shabbat. From 8 to 9, they learn Masechet Beitza. Not Stam learn. With Rashi inside, understand what we're learning. After 9 to 10, we learn Masechet Berachot. Rabotai from 6 to 10, how many hours? Huh? Four hours. You ready for this? A person walks into shul 8.30, 9 o'clock. He finishes down at 9.30, 10 o'clock. He has breakfast at 11.30. Whatever, 11 o'clock. I don't know what, what time, I don't know. Add four hours to 11 o'clock. What's it going to be? What time is it going to be? 3 o'clock. So you want to tell me the guy who davened early nets by 10 o'clock in the morning, he is doing what a person is going to accomplish by 3 o'clock p.m.? What about the guy who's able to do by 12 o'clock? He's already 6, 7 hours in to the day without davening. Take the davening away. That means a regular person who wakes up at a regular hour, his learning schedule will be he'll finish 6, 7 o'clock only. Rabotai, we need to use our time wise. And this is what Shavuot is about. Shavuot is Rabotai, when we stay up, it's not only about to stay up, just to rectify what we did, because we remember what happened. Yeah, we slept. But it's also Rabotai to awaken us to take Torah seriously and not play games. I can't, I don't want to. She said, he said, my father said, Rabotai, we said last time, you're either going to be in Eved Hashem or either you're going to be an Eved to somebody else, Rabotai. And that's what the Gemara said, like, Berachot. If you do the will of Hashem, Benny, you know what happens? You do the will of Hashem, your work gets done by other people. You don't do the work of Hashem, you know what he said, the Pasuk says, the Gemara said, like, Berachot. Not only you'll do your work, but also you'll do other people's work, Rabotai. You make the decision who you want to work for. For Hashem or Chas for other people.